in today's short video I will review a bait casting rod which is called a hawk angel wing I will test it out and hopefully I will be able to catch a few fish whilst using it as well close to the boat <laughs> second one <laughs> that was good <laughs> have a shorter bait casting version in here 662 medium heavy so full code of this rod is CT662 MH it says lure from 8 to 18 but it's not right they said or the ace hawk said that they will fix that uh, that's an error they are saying that it will be from 5 to 28 and I would agree it's about 5 to 30 more or less and the rod itself is beautiful in my opinion it's finished beautifully short handle which I like and the action on this rod is very interesting one basically it has a fast blank as you can see here I'll try to reposition my kayak quickly but basically it has as you can see fast action but also what it has insanely fast recovery time so if I will wobble the tip almost as hard as I can as you can see the tip compacts super quick that's insane messed up my line a little bit while doing it but it was worth it just to show you that the recovery time is just insane on this rod So yeah, for like perch, zander, pike fishing, this rod will be perfect when you need that, you know, delicate presentation and very, very good bite indication into the hand. Also, that's quite a fancy rod when it comes to the finish. I mean, the elements are not super fancy. For example, the guides are not Fuji, but they are called Sea Guide. So, and they have that fancy... Uh, tilted shape as well which is great in my opinion and all guides are like that and also what's interesting is that it has 10 guides I believe on the blank even on the short blank so let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 so yeah 10 guides and when it comes to the balance I have Piskifun Alloy M Reel which weighs about 210 grams more or less and the balance with this reel is more or less just just here as you can see let's let's grab that lure so it would not affect what I want to show too much but basically the balance is here guys obviously on the bait caster <coughs> the balance is not that important because you will be kind of holding it different than the spinning rod but anyway the balance is here so you will need about 210, 200 grams reel to have that perfect balance with this rod. As you can see the handle is quite short, so about 22 maybe centimeters from the end to the reel seat or reel holder. And I have to say that the handle is very very comfortable at least with this reel. As you can see the blank is kind of here. So it's cut out like that so you would be able to feel the the blank with your finger whilst you hold the reel or the rod with the reel and that's ideal in my opinion also it has some kind of a very soft like a foam or something here so when you put a finger on it it's quite nice you know it's pleasant and just everything looks like quality and also the blank has lots and lots of power like in the I don't know in the middle or not middle but half if you like so from middle to the to the end as you can see the blank is I would say maybe centimeter 1.5 centimeters uh, thick or the diameter of the blank in here so it means that it has lots and lots of backbone or power in, in the boat forecasting and you know playing big fish 
and yeah when it comes to the casting on this rod even though kind of it's assumed that you need a a little bit uh, slower not fast or extra fast blank to cast a bait caster but as you can see here I'm casting with this rod no problem whatsoever even though my uh, lure there is just I don't know 10 or something grams with no uh, weight like lead or tungsten attached just plastic soft plastic lure was the bite and a hook and a swivel clip combo I will show you actually what I mean see no weight just a big hook and a 13 centimeter lure which seen some teeth today already so yeah let's keep on casting and I will show you some fish hopefully whilst playing with the thread but all in all it's so good that I will be getting one more of these rods and most likely a couple of spare tips because it's just awesome rod I love it for my taste the action is just bang on it's super sensitive especially when I'm fishing like I am today very difficult conditions the water's temperature is like three degrees I'm fishing for pike but using you know almost suspended lure so the bites will be very very slow and gentle and I need you know to see that bite or feel that bite and react to it and set the hook as you can see it casts beautifully what was at 30 meters no problems whatsoever come on you fish where are you? anyway I'm certain when I will be fishing or jigging basically when I will be doing bottom presentation balancing my lure on the bottom this rod will excel as well basically in any kind of situation where you will need top notch bite indication this rod will excel and you can get spinning version as well if you like would put I don't know something like I don't know mega bass or something else Fuji guides Fuji reel seat and you would sell this rod for I don't know 250 pounds or dollars that would be fair I think but now you know it's not 250 it's 50 <laughs> so yeah very very good value also as you can see this rod has like a, a cr crossed carbon if you like or whatever obviously it's more decorative element but uh, it adds some power to the blank as well just from from here to here looks slick and yeah the rod itself it's not like I have to say it's tasteful when it comes to decorations as you can see it has just like gold elements and some uh, silver as well so angel wing and it's hawking gold and all the trimmings or the rings are gold as well and then it has some silver in here and then it silver rings as well so it looks it looks very very like you know to my taste it looks awesome that one is picking up a little bit but still it's okay I think I'm drifting at good speed have to say it. yep <laughs> first fish okay testing the drag which is great I was saying you know that I like the setup rod and reel listen to that drag yeah sounds okay actually on the water it's not too loud uh, at home in, in my room it was too loud but now it's okay that's okay fish actually tangled itself where are you going stop it stop it mr. pike and go into that net Whew. 
yeah, good good action on that rod actually. It looked too stiff at the start, but now when I have uh, a decent fish on, you know, uh, it's good. And the bite was nice, you know. Ooh, <laughs> what is that? Most importantly, I have a fish on. Yes, first fish on a new setup. Mwah! The water is so cold, I almost don't want, you know, to, to mess about with that fish. <laughs> okay, you beauty, thank you very much for that bite. Be safe, grow big. Nope, no takers. Ah! Did you see that? And... Why? Why? And I did everything right. Once I saw that fish uh, grabbed the lure, I waited for a split of second just, you know, to make sure that the fish turn around or something and uh, then I will set the hook into the side, but... Why? Actually, it might still take it because I did not even hook it, even though the lure was properly in the mouth. Ah! But sometimes, you know, that's, that just happens. No matter, no matter, you know, what you do. I think I did everything right now. That was first fish for today, which grabbed uh, the lure close to the boat. <laughs> Second one. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> that was good small fish, but this one is nailed properly. This escaped from the net. What is happening? Uh, chaos, chaos. Get in that net, you small fish. I wonder, is it the same fish or a different one? It just escaped before. Wow, this one nailed the lure. Just look, inhaled properly that lure. Finally, this one was insane. She's angry. Okay, thank you, little devil. Yep. Nice little bite, small fish, but... Wow, this one was really going for it was shaking its head like after I hooked it towards the point when I netted it. <laughs> Come on. Still doing it. Oh, she's not happy. She's not happy at all. Wow. <laughs> Maybe that's enough, no? Wow, wow. Relax, Mr. Pike. I want to unhook you and let you go. Where is that hook? Just here. Bobless. Nice. Again, not a big fish. Happy to catch her. Thank you. Okay, time to wrap it up. I have to say I am very, very well impressed with this rod. Performance-wise, it's just great in my opinion. It handles the fish very well, bite indication is really second to none. It's just really quality piece of equipment to catch fish with. But that's it from me. Oh, by the way, I will leave links below for this rod in the description. Check them out if you are interested. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Over and out.